Do you know what a Heisman is? No, you don't. You're a dog. Okay, hey guys, it's Jenna. What is up? And welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a video <laughs> that is a little bit overdue. A little bit overdue. We are doing the What I Got for Christmas video at the end of January. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, right? I swear, every time I turn on the camera, you're just like, pick me up, put me in front of the camera. I am beautiful. You are beautiful. Don't do that to me. Anyways, guys, today, like I said, I'm going to be showing you guys everything that I got for Christmas. If you did not see my Vlogmas, one of the Vlogmas videos, obviously Christmas Day, we were opening gifts and one of my gifts was just a letter that said, Hey Jenna, we ordered some things online and they did not come in in time for Christmas. So we've been waiting for these things to come in the mail and they finally came in the mail. My parents came over, I actually showed this on another vlog as well, just a recent, more recent weekly vlog um, that I opened my gifts and you guys can go see that. But basically we have everything here now and we are going to get into what I got for Christmas at the end of January. So let's get into it. So if you do not know, I am 24. So Christmas isn't really so much about getting gifts and stuff anymore. It used to be, but as you get older, you kind of realize that Christmas is more about spending time with your family. I do live on my own now, so it's really, really nice around holiday time to spend more time with my family. My siblings are like my best friends, so I love spending time with them. Also, my parents are amazing. And fun thing is I'm going on vacation, just me and my parents in two weeks. I'm so excited. Anyways, basically what I was trying to say is that I am old enough that if I want to buy something, I usually just buy it for myself. So Christmas isn't so much about getting gifts, it's more about spending time with my family. So just a typical thing that people say in Christmas, what I got for Christmas videos, I'm not trying to brag, I just wanted to show you guys what I got because I love watching these videos. Same spiel that every other YouTuber says. But anyways, the main gifts that I got from my parents were these two things right here. These are two different items from T3. This is a curling iron set. You can get like actual like two piece sets, but with this company, you can get like the main base, which is this right here. It is really, really awesome and like chic and I love the design of it. It is white and rose gold. And honestly, I just really like the look of it. And apparently T3 is a really good brand. So I got the convertible base. So basically you buy this here and then you can buy different wands to attach to it. So I figured this would be a really good idea if I ever get longer hair, if I want bigger barrels, that sort of thing, I can kind of customize it. You can get like a pack that comes with the base and then like three different size barrels. Um, but I decided not to get that and just get one because I feel like I didn't really need three and it was pretty expensive. So I decided to get this one. This one is the Undone Waves. This is the one inch straight barrel. They have like ones that kind of go thinner as it goes down. They have bigger ones. I am considering getting the one and a half or one and a quarter inch barrel for like bigger looser waves as my hair does get longer. But this actually here is like my hair just dried after a shower. It like, because it's shorter now, it kind of flips out, but I am excited to use this. I actually have not used this since I got it for Christmas because all of my, what I got for Christmas stuff has just been in a pile waiting for the other things to come. So finally, after I finish filming this video, we can use these. So I will definitely tell you guys in future videos or in vlogs how I like this, but I'm really excited to just have like a really good solid curling iron to start using. My next will probably be to get a new straightener because I've had the same straightener um, for the same amount of time that I had the curling iron and they're both like super old. So we need to get one of those as well. And then next up for my parents, you guys, if you did see the Christmas vlog, would have seen this, but this right here, if you do not know me, um, I am obsessed with Starbucks and this here, my dad actually won and gave to me as a Christmas gift, which is totally fine. Like I, 
um, got some stuff from FabFitFun and stuff that I didn't feel like I needed to use, so I gave them to my sisters and my mom for Christmas. So my dad won this from, I think he said, a Christmas party? Or like, uh, I don't even know, Buck and Doe, who knows? But it is a Starbucks like canister, and like this is the sickest thing. I don't think you can actually like buy these in store. Let me know if you guys can buy these because I'm so excited to have this. I feel like I'm like exclusive and I'm like all like Starbucks basic white girl. Okay. So yeah, I think I might actually put that in like my coffee station. If you do not know, down in my kitchen, I have like a whole little setup because that's how obsessed with coffee I am. But in that little canister, they had this here. This is a chocolate covered pretzel, caramel pretzel. <laughs> Yes, girl. This has been sitting there, and I'm really excited to eat that. And then this was actually in like a little package, but it is a Christmas ornament. I put this on my Christmas tree wait, right when I got home on Christmas Day, but it is just is peace and love, and it's in my favorite gorgeous, like, tealy mint green color, which I love, and it's so, so pretty. And, yeah, so that was the second little gift. I also got some other, like, treats and stuff, but I already ate those, obviously. <laughs> Okay, and then the last three things from my parents, these were the three things that we were waiting on. All three of these things are from Society6, which if you do not know what Society6 is, I am obsessed with it. Basically, it's just a website where like independent artists can put their art on different things like mugs and notebooks and towels and duvets and art pieces for the wall, like wall art and stuff. So yeah, definitely recommend shopping there because you're like supporting independent artists, which I think is amazing. But Anyways, we got three things and I'm so excited to show you guys. The first thing is a mug. Clearly I'm obsessed, obsessed with coffee. But it is this one right here and guys, <laughs> there's lips. And apparently my mom picked this out because she thought that the chin and the lips looked very similar to mine. Do they look similar? If I had red lipstick on, I really wish I wore red lipstick today. That would have been cool. Cause then I could have been like this. I think that would be funny. But anyways, it has like roses and stuff on it and I just think this is gorgeous. I actually just recently finished watching all of the Twilight series and this like, I don't know, reminded me of Twilight when I saw it. I'm like, oh my god, it's so funny. But I absolutely love it and I am obsessed with mugs. If you haven't seen my mug collection, I will link that or put it in a card because that was a good time. Next up is a notebook. My mom saw these and you can actually get these in packs of three. So if you do not know, I have two other sisters. My mom decided to purchase a three pack of this notebook for all three of us. And I think this is the most gorgeous quote ever. It's a pretty long quote, but I do want to read it to you guys. This is actually from F. Scott Fitzgerald, which I'm pretty sure that is the artist, not artist, author of The Great Gatsby, which I love that book let me just tell you we read it in high school but the quote is she was beautiful and not like those girls in the magazines she was beautiful for the way she thought she was beautiful for the spark in her eyes when she talked about something she loved she was beautiful for the ability to make other people smile even if she was sad no she wasn't beautiful for something as temporary as her looks she was beautiful deep down to her soul, she is beautiful. So yeah, that is probably the most gorgeous quote. It's like the longest quote ever, but I love that quote so much. And I definitely live by that. I feel like a person is only as beautiful as their inside. So that sounded really weird, but you guys know what I mean. Anyways, the last thing that my parents got for me was this huge, ginormous beach towel that is like marble. It is so, so gorgeous. And like I said at the beginning of this video, I am going on vacation, a week's vacation with my parents and I do not have a beach towel. So that was actually perfect that they got this for me. It is ginormous. And I didn't know that beach towels, like that was actually a thing. I just thought a towel was a towel, but apparently there are bath towels and beach towels. <laughs> okay, and then the other two things that I quickly wanted to mention, they're totally random, but I did want to mention them in this video because I am so thankful to have people like this in my life. But basically, I got a, an envelope in my P.O. box, and it was from Sephora. And I was like, what the heck? I didn't order anything from Sephora. Is Sephora, like, sending me something? But then I opened it up and it was actually a $50 Sephora gift card from a subscriber. Her name is Lori. Lori, if you're watching this, you are so kind. And I just wanted to thank you from the bottom of my heart for sending me that. You did not have to do that. But basically she just sent a $50 gift card that actually had a picture of Penny and I on it. And she just said, Merry Christmas. 
to you and Penny and have fun shopping. So basically I did purchase two things from Sephora with that gift card. The one thing is something that I've been wanting for a really, really long time that I actually tried like a little sample of and then I finally got the full size version of it. This is the Tatcha the Water Cream. This is the best moisturizer I've ever used. I'm not a huge fan of like really oily creams and like moisturizers that you put it on your face and you can just feel it for like hours afterwards. I just hate that feeling, especially going to bed and like putting your face on the pillow and just feeling things like stick to your face. It's just not fun. So basically this moisturizer is nothing like that. It's like a very watery consistency. So you put it on your face and it like immediately dries to nothing and it doesn't feel like you have anything on your face. And it has actually made a really big difference to my skin. So love this. And then I also just purchased one of the Sephora Lip Stories lipsticks. This one, I don't know what the shade is. Is it on here somewhere? Shade number seven in Love Love. It's a matte and it's this really gorgeous, like cooler toned nude color. I absolutely love it. And I really, really like the packaging. It's actually like cardboardish, which I feel like is a better kind of way to package things rather than plastic, if you know what I mean, like for the earth and stuff. But yeah, so that is everything that I got from Lori. Thank you so much, Lori, for doing that. You did not have to send me anything, but I'm so thankful for you. So thank you for that. And then lastly, for things that I got sent, a company actually reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to receive one of their hats. I mentioned this in one of my vlogs, but I quickly wanted to mention it again. I was going to mention this in my 2017 favorites, but I completely forgot. So I did want to mention it here quickly. And I technically kind of consider this a Christmas gift because I did get it shortly before Christmas. I think it was around my birthday when I received this and it was in one of the Vlogmas videos. But this is from a company called King and Fifth. I will link them down below and have all the links for you guys. But this, I'm gonna say right now, is like my favorite toque ever. It is so nicely made and it just, it just looks so good. Ah, I love it. So yeah, I just quickly wanted to mention that one. I love, love toques and I would say that this is definitely one of the favorite ones that I've ever received. I love the color, I love the pom-pom and just everything about it. It's so cozy and thick and warm. So again, I will put King and Fifth down below if you guys wanna go check that out. This video is not sponsored by them. They just sent it to me and I really wanted to shout them out in this video because I love that toque and I just really love hats and I don't know if that messed up my hair. I think that is everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I got for Christmas. Definitely give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this little last spark of Christmas before we get into the year too much. I know this video is so late but I did enjoy kind of reliving the Christmas spirit because I miss Christmas already. We still have like another 11 months until next Christmas so let's start counting down now people. But yeah, anyways, I love you guys so much. If you're not subscribed already, definitely hit that subscribe button down there. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below what you got for Christmas. I'd love to know that. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. But my kitchen is beautiful and clean. My cell phone's on the counter, but I did some dishes, clean the counters, beautiful. I also tidied up this a little bit. I kind of want to get another blanket to put in that blanket basket.